Hello, good day to everyone. This is uh, the third video that we've been documenting. We're checking three methods of which way is the best way to pinpoint the day to breed your female. We've been checking with the Draminsky ovulation detector. I've also been doing a vaginal smear and I'm also checking progesterone levels. Okay, the first day the Draminsky was a 980 or 970. Yesterday was a 380. And today, we're gonna see where she's at. Okay, you twist it. Okay, so it dropped to 210. So this means that there was already an LH surge and progesterone levels, as our progesterone machine told us yesterday, started to rise. So now let's go and do a vaginal smear. Okay, so we're gonna do the vaginal smear now. You can see that she's bleeding still. And that she's flagging, she's receptive. We're gonna put this on the glass. All right, let's go stain this. Okay, again, I'm using gram stain. The method is, uh, first thing you use is crystal violet. Okay, now we're gonna use Graham's iodine. The last two days, the cells have been cornified already, so... I just wanted to show you guys how cells change day to day. Now we're going to use alcohol. And last... Saffronin. All right, so we have the slide ready. Now let's go look at it under the microscope. The third slide here. Um, we can see that almost all the cells are cornified. They're a nuclear. You can barely see any nucleus inside most of the cells. If you fade your microscope and you look at it like if you were looking at it backwards, you could see the little tiny nucleus inside the cells so this is what you want to look for so we're almost ready to breed not exactly yet according to the progesterone levels you want to see that all this white is nice and clear let's look at the slide so you can see the cells more magnified Okay, so if we look here, and we look here, you can see that almost all the cells 
are like the one on top. With the exception of one or two. Can you see? So this female is almost ready to breed. According to progesterone levels yesterday, she was at 2.47. So she's not ready yet. We're looking for five nanograms, which is ovulation. And um, after that, we'll continue. All right, let's go do the progesterone. Okay, so we're gonna collect the blood for the progesterone. You wanna clean the area really well. All right, you want the whole face in you, and you wanna feel the vein, okay? And all you do, you just, you press it a little bit, until you see blood in the needle. There you go, you see? It's right there. And then you just withdraw slowly. And that's it. You don't need to be poking around or pushing it like that. It's right over the vein. Okay, and then you constrict it for a little bit. So no blood comes out and you're done. So now we're gonna do the progesterone test. You wanna slide down the blood really slow down the side of the test tube. All right, so we have the five cc's. And now I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. The more you let it sit, the better serum you're gonna get. So I wait until it coagulates and we're gonna run the test. Okay, so we have the serum. It's nice and clear. And the testing procedure is you get 30 UL of serum. Okay. You mix it in the buffer. You can pipette it up and down. Or you can just mix it. Shake it about 10 to 15 times. Then you get 75 UL of the buffer serum mix. making sure that there's no bubbles. And you wanna put it in a little round hole. Okay, so this is the third day that we've been doing progesterone. The first day was 1.48. Yesterday was 2.47. So that means that Today, the progesterone levels had to have gone up. And what we're looking for is 5.0 nanograms. Okay, so we're going to put this in the incubation chamber for 15 minutes. And we'll be right back with the results. Okay, so we've been documenting the progesterone levels for the past three days. Uh, three days ago was 1.48 yesterday was 2.47 so that means she is about to ovulate and today we're gonna see what her levels are okay so here's the test we'll select see what she's on to. Alright, so she already ovulated. She went from 2.47 to 9.33. Today would be the first day of breeding. Okay? Tomorrow and the next day are the last days you should breed. You don't need to breed any more than that. 
actually it was I wouldn't even breathe today I would skip today and breathe tomorrow and the next day that way when you program your c-sections you don't have intervals of one day and then skip a day and then skip a day what breeders usually do or what I used to do myself now I just breathe two consecutive days and that's it that's all you need there is nothing more exact than progesterone okay I can guarantee almost 98 percent success rate unless the female has ovarian cyst or has reproductive problems or for x y reason but if everything is done right i can almost guarantee you a successful breeding okay i want to thank you guys again for watching my videos tomorrow i'm going to do the test again so you guys can see how progesterone levels rise and uh, if you like my videos please share like or comment below and if you want to buy one of these machines you can visit my website at www.canineprogesterone.com or call me at 786-207-4470 if you need more information okay thank you